So there was a study that was done where they fitted everyone with watches with light detectors on it. This was just visible light detectors. And this was a few thousand uh, uh, subjects. And what they did was they followed them for a number of years. I, I don't remember exactly how many years it was, but what they did was they were able to categorize subjects by the amount of light that was coming to the watch. They had those that were in, you know, the lowest tier of light, those that were in, you know, less than 50%, then those that were in the 50th to, you know, 95th percentile, and then those that were above 95 percentile. So in other words, at any given hour of the day, they were able to see based on the entire population, the light that's coming to this watch, where would it place them for that particular hour? OK, so you can imagine then what they have set up. They have this graph and they showed this and they said, OK, let's look at all of the people for every single hour of the day that had greater than 95 percent. Intensity light coming from their watch, and let's look and see what happened at four o'clock in the afternoon. And now let's look and see what happened at five o'clock and, and so forth for the entire 24 hour period. This is what they found. This is mortality data. OK, Lewis, this is. This is quite impressive. Mortality data showed this, that from four o'clock to about nine o'clock at night, those individual subjects who had greater than 95% of the light coming to their watch in comparison to those that were less than 50% had significantly reduced mortality after they had followed them for years and years and years. After about nine o'clock at night, it started to come up and by about midnight, those that had greater than 95% of the light compared to the population coming to their watch and compared their mortality to those that were getting less than 50%, which is the right thing to do at that time of day, their mortality, the, not, the greater than 95% went above one. In other words, the, the, the odds ratio went higher than that and stayed high all throughout the night until they got to about six o'clock or seven o'clock in the morning. And then it dropped below one again, which means that light is now a benefit, not a harm. And it showed that until about four o'clock in the afternoon, um, it stayed below the, the, the threshold of one. So what does all this data mean? It means very clearly we could see very granular data, literally by the hour, bright light into your eyes. Is it a benefit and is it a, or is it a liability? And when does it change from being a benefit to being a liability. And uh, th yeah, this was, this was incredible data. In fact, it was published in the United States Proceeds of the National Academy of Sciences. Um, and it was entitled, um, the title of the paper, ironically, was exactly what you just said at the beginning, bright day, sorry, bright nights and dark days. Um, and so, we, you know, I could give you the study and you can look it up too, but it confirmed for me that absolutely that this, this exposure of light in the eyes is um, at the wrong time of day can have a tremendous negative impact. And the very same exposure at the right time of day not only can have a different effect, it has the opposite effect. So absolutely.